Hello everyone, welcome! Hello! <clears throat> right, are we rolling? Are we on? Hello people, I'm back and I've only gone and done it. This is me making a YouTube. So hi is everyone. So we all decided for the first YouTube video we would be doing a Q&A question and answer <laughs> right so let's just get straight into it i'm nervous now this is my first youtube video so if the quality of the sound and all shite it's not my fault hey right what are you talking let's go so this is what she's all wanted to know here we go right i have the questions up here and this is just ready to start and people i'm in my pajamas but sure here listen quarantine who's going anywhere <laughs> right we'll start with the easy one what age are you Tammy, 19. I am 19 years young. Right, where are you from? I'm from Ireland, County Down, Newry, to be precise. Oh, sorry, I just touched the camera. Oh, oh. oh here we go now. You, you know me, these are brilliant questions. What's your favorite snack? Oh, let me see. Now, what's a snack? Chocolate, sweets, pizza, baby. My favourite snack. Um, my favourite snack. That contour though. <laughs> right, my favourite snack would have to be, so if I went to the shop and wanted to get snacks, I would get popcorn. Uh, sweet, of course. Like me. Popcorn, um, maybe 7-Up and Kinder Bueno. Yum. Now, my favourite food snack would have to be pizza. Did you used to do Irish dancing was the next question. I did an Irish... Oh, sorry, what did I just say? L let's go again. <laughs> did you used to do Irish dancing? Yes, I did Irish dancing for 11 years. That's how I have these good calves. That's the truth. I've serious calves on my... All from the Irish dancing. What's your favourite thing about TikTok? Do I even have to say it? All my fans, you are the best, honestly. See all them comments, I be pure loving it. I be like, oh my God, these people are in love with me. And I love you too. How did you meet your boyfriend? Oh, saucy one. No, I'm joking. <laughs> me and Lee, well, we've been going out three years at the end of the month. So might be a wee, might do a wee YouTube video on our anniversary. We've been going out three years and we met in a nightclub. Mm, that was basically it, boring enough, we went in a nightclub and then a couple of weeks later we went on our date. <sighs> Do you know what though, funny story, whenever we did go on our first date, at the end of it I went up to my best friend Orla's house and I was like, oh my god Orla, he hates me, he, he's never going to text me again. And I was like, I just have to accept it and all and then boom, got a text through the phone, Hey, hey, he loves me, he doesn't hate me. <laughs> what is your, I already answered that one. There's about 50 questions here and I read the same one twice. Typical. What age were you when you started makeup? I started doing makeup whenever I was, I think, I don't know, because my brother, so my brother's fiance, Laura, basically my sister-in-law, whenever she moved in with us years ago because Anthony and her lived here, she started doing makeup and it was the first person I ever seen do makeup fully. So like I got really into it now watching her do her makeup, like I would get her to do my makeup and stuff and then that was basically it. So I was what, 11 then, but then I think I started doing makeup from home, just like on the weekdays and all, or no, on the weekends, sorry, in school. Like I would have done a few makeups like whenever I was like 16 and then I got a job in makeup whenever I was 18 and then, so what's that? Ah, a good few years, I'm 19 now. So I don't know if any of that made sense, but sure here, let's rock with it. What is your favorite makeup products? Now, if we're going eyeshadow, I would definitely say Be Perfect because I love the Carnival palette, the Clientele palette, the LMD palette, I love all of them. And they would definitely be eyeshadows. If it came to bronzer, definitely Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, you can only get that in America, but you can get it on Beauty Bend stuff. But definitely, they would be my go-to bronzers. I've always used it. Um, lipstick is always MAC Burnt Spice. That is my, the liquid lip one, that is my go-to. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and highlighter would be MAC Whisper of Guilt. They are all my go-to products. Okay, we've got, a wee, we've got a wee question here. Why are you so funny? I don't know. 
no but for real though i think i get a lot for the odd putting in there my man dad it obviously comes down in the jeans but then i don't know because none of my siblings are funny <laughs> sorry if you're listening um where all have you been abroad oh this is an interesting question i've been a good few places abroad so my go-to holiday destination is lanzarote i've been there a lot of times where else have i been to though i went to cyprus for my sister's wedding um i've been to mexico cancun i've been to tunisia puerto rico um funny story oh whenever I did go to Tunisia, I was young young enough and a man came up and put his hands over my eyes. He just cut, he, like, he said this is his hands, look. He went like this to me and goes to my dad who's in front of me. How much? Can you, can you cope? I'm not for sale, sorry. Oh my God. Go to alcoholic drink. It changes all the time because I get very sick of some drinks. I'm like, I can't be doing that. Next. So, let me think. My go-to at the minute would have to be beer, Orchard Thieves, or Corona. Corona. I do like a Corona beer though. Oh, here's a question I love. Whoever wrote this, confess yourselves. Text me on Instagram and be like, I wrote that question. What do you prefer, fine line or heartbreak weather? I can't believe you are making me pick. Oh my God. Um, serious tea are we spilling? Let me think. Oh God, I can't do it. What about fine weather? <laughs> Heartbreak line? <laughs> no. Heartbreak weather or fine line? Music wise. Now the music. I would have to go with heartbreak weather. The guilt I am feeling for saying that. <laughs> but Harry Styles, if you're ever coming across this video, which I know you won't. You. You. Hmm. This actually could go with another question. What did Corona take away from you? Now, I didn't get to see Harry Styles on concert because of the coronavirus. That is what the coronavirus took away from. Oh, I knew it. Exposed. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me fix this. Let me fix this. Oh God, what a bad time for this to happen. No, it's okay. I can keep talking. I keep going. Right. Best takeaway. Now, it has to be the Dolce Vita and Yuri, obviously. Just let me get some of this eyelash glue. How did you get on the Ulster team? So, bit of backstory. I do indeed play rugby. I play for Cook in Belfast and I also play for Ulster. Um, how did you get on the Ulster team? Hard work, dedication, going to training, showing up to all your trainings, you know. Always play your best at matches. Just let me, just get a wee bit. There we go. That's us now, that's us now. Oh, here's one. Do you have many trolls? If you do, how do you handle it? So on TikTok and also on TikTok, I would have what? 110,000 followers and I can say I would be scrolling through TikTok and I would watch a video and you all do it. You, you see a video and there would just be one wee thing about it and you'll go to the comments and per people will be getting absolutely slaughtered. I hate that. Uh, but people judge and slaughter people over the tiniest things. Like, like having a dirty mirror, people would be like, clean your mirror. Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? Just horrible things and I just don't get it. So thankfully, I do not get many haters. No, and I am... Is that a sign? Is that one of my haters? I don't know what happened there. Sorry, people, but um, thankfully I don't get many haters and I'm so grateful for it. All my people are just the best, loveliest people and I love you all. Oh shit, just spilt my tea in my makeup drawer. What part of Ireland are you from? County down, Nuri, the best part. <laughs> Only joking. Do you ever feel anxious about putting yourself out on Instagram? Absolutely. I don't think, starting out, I don't think there's anybody, I think even people get anxious posting normal pictures, being like, oh, what are people going to think? But see, 
even whenever I was on TikTok and all, I was worried about people were going to think. And then see once on my TikTok, people started coming over to my Instagram. I forgot about the people who do judge you, who you do worry about, people in your hometown. It's people close to you that you're worried about, do you know what I mean? And once I seen all my TikTok fans coming over to my Instagram, that's who I thought I was giving Instagram content to. I didn't think of anybody who I thought would judge me. I didn't think of anything like that. Because listen, you're not going to get anywhere not showing your true self. So that's what I would say to people. Be yourself, be confident. Because who is it? Who is anybody else to say anything about you? If you are sent into a group chat, if you are talked about, who cares? What's, what's the worst that can happen? You know what I mean? And people just have a lot to say sometimes, you know what I mean? So another one, what gave you the confidence to start TikTok and speaking on your Insta? So all in all, I am a very, very confident person. But that doesn't mean every single day I wake up being confident. Like I would have days where I'm upset, especially all week. I've been really upset. But now I'm coming on doing this video, you wouldn't think that, you know? So everybody is on the same boat. Everybody has good days and bad days. I, I just think it's so important for people to be happy in their own skin and be able to expose that to everybody else, do you know what I mean? Without feeling worried or anxious about it because everybody's different and everybody should be able to show how different they are. Okay, how long have you played rugby? So I've played rugby since I was 14. I'm now 19, so what's that, five years? Um, How are you adapting to the blogging life? Do you know what? I honestly am adapting well. Um, I found and I probably I would say a lot of bloggers are like this I find that I'm putting pressure on myself which I every time I do I'm taking a step back and I'm saying but you don't have to do it do you know what I mean you don't have to go and tell the story you don't have to go and do a makeup look and it kind of puts me at ease because I'm pressuring myself into going and doing it do you know what I mean whereas I actually feel comfortable giving myself time doing it when I feel like it and all so that's what I mean like even for bloggers and stuff like they do feel a lot of pressure to keep up and post every day and all but that's where I just took a step back and was like um a listener new to this nobody's expecting you to be a freaking superhero just do it when you enjoy it because if you put up stuff that you're not enjoying people are going to know do you know what I mean would you ever go vegan no 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 I just uh, no next question <laughs> why did you decide to start a youtube burning question so i decided to start a youtube because you were all commenting on my tiktok saying post more post more post more and i was like because the videos can only be one minute long so why not come to youtube and look we're already on 19 minutes so i can give you more and like uh, loads of people have been commenting make a youtube so i was like why not you know what i mean who cares? Make a YouTube. We're not doing anything else in this quarantine. Get her done. <laughs> Tips for people starting at makeup. I would say go outside your comfort zone. Do you know? Just try a lot. So if you look, say you were starting out makeup and you looked at my eyes and you were like, oh my God, I love her eyeshadow. I would never be able to do that. That's what I always said. I would look at the makeup and be like, oh my God, I love that. I would never be able to do that. And automatically I had it in my head that I couldn't do that. So you're automatically doubting yourself. So for people starting out in makeup, I would just say straight away, go outside your comfort zone and go and do that makeup look. It doesn't matter. What's the worst? It could be terrible. So... At least you tried. Uh, but more than likely, it won't be. Because if you're really interested in makeup and you're passionate about it, then you can do it. So I would just say definitely go outside your comfort zone. Try new looks. Try new things. Don't be afraid of anything. Because nothing bad can happen, you know. Do you want to move out and get your own place? No. No, I'm still too young for that. I just want to stay at home and get my dinner made for my thanks. Oh, here we go. What's your favourite thing in McDonald's? So in McDonald's, right, some days I would be like, I hate burgers, but like I don't hate burgers. I just don't want a burger. But if I were to go to McDonald's and I wanted a burger, I would just get a wee double cheeseburger off the Savers menu and chicken nuggets. You know, the way six chicken nugget thing. Or, or if I was feeling bold, and this is probably my favourite order, is chicken selects. Uh, chicken selects a pineapple stick. No, no, how long, how long? Chicken selects and a one pound cheeseburger. That would be my McDonald's order. And if I was feeling quite bold, I would also get a pineapple stick. <laughs> They're unreal. Like, I know it's fruit and all from McDonald's, but pineapple sticks are delicious. Love them. Class. <laughs> So people, that's the end of all our questions. And you know what? I really did enjoy answering them because 
I just want you all to get to know me more because I have a lot more to give. <laughs> I could definitely see myself making more YouTube videos, put it that way. So I'm going to try my best to get this up as soon as I can, all that stuff. Subscribe if you already haven't. Oh my God, it feels so weird even saying that. Comment down below even what next videos you want me to do. Because I'm thinking of doing some challenges or even um, my mum does my makeup or, you know, stuff like that there. So I'm definitely going to do stuff like that because I definitely did enjoy making this. It was great. I loved making it. These are all just my favourite fans ever and thank you all so much for making me take the step and doing this YouTube video. Okay people, so I will be on doing more makeup looks and stuff as well. I just wanted to do a, basically, it basically was a get to know me, do you know. Um, yeah, so thank you all so much. See you later.